What would it take you to feel rich? Material possessions with dollar signs attached to them or internal fulfillment? What you place value on in this world is what you consider to be significant. Value equals significance. Isn't it beyond belief that on Black Friday people die just to save money on a TV? Imagine what's going to happen when we run out of food. Isn't it a catastrophe that we only come together through tragedies? What's the problem with that? Isn't it terrible that pain is always going to be prevalent within this world and not everyone being benevolent? Why can't we all just get along as people? Why is it that these celebrity figures have such high status, they have such high impact on our everyday culture, but let alone they're not being the voices of reason? They're not going out in front of people and saying, this is what we have to do to promote change. Yes, yeah, so what they give to charity? That's not what it's about. They have an obligation to show people this is what you have to do to move the world forward together as one. I want you to think about something for a second. People would rather vote for celebrity figures than get politically informed. Well, why is that? If we look at the Donald Trump situation, for instance, everyone buys into what he says because he speaks his mind. A lot of people envy that. Although he doesn't have a PhD doctorate, the guy has a big bank account, therefore will buy into what he says. In order to relinquish yourself and unlock the vast immensity of your mind, it's time to wage war against the broadcasters. It's time to wage war against the people who are producing a pathetic excuse for news. Rather than us shooting out towards the stars, it's time to head towards the moon. I need you guys to understand something. That whether you're a homeless person in the street, all the way to a celebrity figure with high status, that we're all individuals. We all have a brain, body, breathe and bleed. All we're looking to do is derive purpose meaning within our life. We're all seeking an answer, something that's going to give us fulfillment. If you want to look at the world around you, what we're doing is trying to evolve. That's all human nature is about. So I want you to realize that we are creators of our very own destiny, let alone destroyers of our very own reality. We glorify the Kardashians, Jenners, Biebers, and Cyruses of the world when it's all backwards. We should be looking up to people who are actually having sufficient impact like Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King Jr., Mahatma Gandhi, and Nelson Mandela. These are people who acted out of the kindness of their heart and not their own narcissistic values. The world we live in today is in dire need for leaders, individuals ready to take this world into the stratosphere to completely reshape our decision making and change the world for what we know it today. I want you to ask yourself this question. Why do we place merit on individuals who have this massive impact yet aren't doing their part to promote change. Look around you in the world today. It's all control based. Everyone wants control in some type of manner. Why do corporations hate unions? Because of control. If I can leave you with anything, imagine if we spent all this money on political campaigns on something actually worth our while, what we could accomplish. If we came together as one, we united as people to stand up and do something great. Not just the same mediocrity, the same news. So I want to ask you this last question, what would it take you to feel rich?